Hello everyone out there on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of the social medias except for Parlor. Um, this is John and welcome back to another food review. Today I'm going to be doing another video that uh, involves the McRib uh, because I, I fear that it, it's in its last days uh, for this time around so I wanted to get one more in. but. I wanted to uh, do something for a review and I wanted to do something special for it so I think I've created something that no one's ever done before and uh, I'm trying to think of a, a, a name for this invention that I just made uh, if you're familiar with some of the like the secret menu type of things at McDonald's you have the the McGang Bang where you put the a double cheeseburger around a McChicken sandwich. You have the land, sea, and air where you have the, the fish filet, the chicken, and the beef. But I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this. This monstrosity, this is their premium chicken right there. This is their quarter pounder right there. That's half of a McRib just because I didn't want it to be falling over. And then under that is a fish fillet. Oh, there's also bacon right there too. This is literally every meat that McDonald's has to offer. You have your beef patty and your chicken patty, which I got the, the best ones they have. The, the Their premium chicken, so it's supposed to be like a whole piece of chicken, not like the McChicken that's a, a basically a big chicken nugget their quarter pounder beef which is supposed to be fresh never frozen beef um the bacon and the the mcrib they only have one choice there's not a a discount or a premium version of that so i have the mcrib patty with the bacon on top and of course on the bottom i have the fish filet and they only have one item on their menu that is has fish and that's just the, the their fish filet um I, I stacked them in that order for, for this reason. Fish are in water. That's like the lowest level. Pigs are kind of like in mud, so that's like a transition. Beef, they're above the ground, they're on the grass, so that's like a, a dirt uh, situation. And then chickens, I know chickens don't fly, but they are birds, which in this case we're going to say, because Lancey and Air also uses them chickens are on top because they're in the air so that's how you have this burger sandwich monster I'm using the chicken bun because it was the biggest out of all of them uh, so that would be the most useful to put this all together I'm gonna try to get a bite of everything here and yes all the condiments that stuck to each one are still on this sandwich let's give it a taste bite in this direction so I have something to have condiments fall into that's not just the floor of my car. And here we go. It's not really a good angle to bite this in. I got everything except for chicken in that bite. interesting for this is all the meat textures in this are pretty soft except for the chicken since the chicken is a whole piece of chicken. It still has most of its muscle fibers together. And the fish is technically a piece, a whole piece of fish, but together or not, fish meat is 
light and flaky, you can bite right through it. Of course, the beef and the pork are also reformed patties, so they're relatively soft to bite through. So what's weird about this is I don't hate it. And, uh, I don't know, flavors kind of go together. It's also holding together way better than I thought it was going to be. Besides some, like, lettuce that's fallen into this cup, nothing really else has fallen. After I say that, of course, I get a massive amount of stuff that fall out. The fish in this is flavorless. It doesn't really add anything flavor-wise to it, but it does give it like a, a texture difference on the bottom. It's like the soft, flaky, you know what fish feels like. Soft and flaky. Then you got the the pork, which really for, in this situation, the pork is just adding like a barbecue smoky flavor to it. Um, the pork flavor and the bacon flavor, uh, first of all, the bacon on here is relatively small. Uh, but the, the pork flavor kind of gets muted by the two biggest flavors in here are the beef and the chicken. Uh, the chicken is, it, it, it because it's taking more effort to chew through the chicken part, uh, it feels like I'm just spending more time on that uh, flavor-wise as well. Now, after tasting it, now I'm going to come up with a name for the sandwich. Basically, we have four animals here. You got your fish, which I believe is a, a, a pollock. You got pork, which of course is a pig. Beef cow, chicken, chicken. Fish, pork, beef, chicken. Fish, pork, beef, chicken. It's already land, sea, and air. The only thing I'm adding is like a, a transition between sea and land. Um, I know they also have a thing called the Noah's Ark, and that's you have to have two patties of everything, which that kind of seems ridiculously huge unnecessary and you know this one is just so modest so we're gonna call this one the hmm, the zoo so no the farm the farm or the zoo you don't you can farm fish but you don't really see fish at a farm My mind is blanking on what should I should call this thing. Uh, I'm going to give her a, a review number overall. Um, it's definitely not something that you should spend the amount of money that I spent on it. Uh, it is not bad. I was surprised how much it tasted okay. Uh, the textures are too weird though. The, the softness of the fish and like the more hard to chew through chicken. Maybe if you did the chick, the McChicken patty, it would be better. 
to chew through. Um, but the, the premium chicken tastes a lot better than the McChicken. <coughs> Excuse me. We're just going to call it the farm burger. Every animal on the farm. Here you go. McDonald's farm burger. Created by me, the fat hipster. And brought to you by loyal and adoring fans. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this interesting, weird video. Um, let me know if uh, you've tried something similar in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. So long. Bye-bye. Farewell. Adios. Hey, this is John with a post-review message. I noticed that uh, a couple things um, from the, the video I just recorded earlier today that I want to add to or correct. Uh, one thing was, I said I was going to review it, but I never gave it a number score, which I usually do. Um, so I'm going to give it a, a 6.9 because I think that it was nice. And um, the other thing was, when I got home, I, uh, I told my wife what I reviewed, and uh, I came up with a new, better name for the sandwich, and that's going to be the one that comes out on the title that you've already seen. And the, the new title for the, the burger sandwich thing that I just uh, reviewed, that you just saw, um, is the my wife told me not to do it burger um, because when I told her what it was she said I told her not to do that but that's it hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel bye again